Welcome back to our IB Physics video series. This is the second video in IB Physics Topic 8, Energy Production, where we will be looking at thermal energy transfer processes and black body radiation. Make sure to watch our IB Physics Topic 3 video series, as this series builds on the content covered there. Thermal energy is transferred via conduction, convection, thermal radiation, and evaporation. We covered evaporation in our IB Physics Topic 3 video series, so we will focus on the remainders in this video. Let's begin. Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy via direct collisions between molecules. These collisions pass kinetic energy between molecules of objects in direct contact with one another. For this reason, conduction occurs fastest in solids, followed by liquids and finally gases. Materials that undergo conduction can be classified into two groups, thermal conductors and thermal insulators. Thermal conductors are materials that can conduct thermal energy well. Most metals are thermal conductors. Thermal insulators are materials that cannot conduct thermal energy well. All gases and most liquids are thermal insulators. Convection is the movement of heat in a fluid, including air. In this, hotter fluid expands at a lower density and thus rises, whereas colder fluid condenses to a higher density and thus sinks. This creates cyclical movement of fluid, called the convection current. Radiation is the absorption and subsequent emission of electromagnetic waves from an object, felt as heat. However, the radiation emitted is dependent on several factors of the material. Light and shiny materials are poor absorbers and emitters of thermal radiation, hence why light shirts or cars don't get hot in summer. Dark and rough materials are excellent absorbers and emitters of thermal radiation, hence why dark shirts or cars do get very hot in summer. For the IB Physics syllabus, you need to be aware of theoretically perfect radiation, termed black body radiation. Let's explore this now. A black body is a perfect absorber and admitter of thermal radiation. The radiation it gives off is termed black body radiation. Because the material and surface is considered perfect, it exists to explore other factors that influence radiation. The most important of such factors is temperature, because it affects the radiation intensity and wavelength, outlined by the Stefan Boltzmann law and Vines displacement law, respectively. Let's explore each individually. The Stefan Boltzmann law states that the radiation intensity is proportional to the fourth power of temperature in Kelvin. The formula for this is intensity equals Stefan Boltzmann constant times temperature to the power of 4. In this, the Stefan Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per meter squared Kelvin to the power of 4. However, note that intensity equals power divided by area. Therefore, another formula that you will commonly see is power equals Stefan Boltzmann constant times area times temperature to the power of 4. Vine's displacement law states that the wavelength at the maximum intensity is inversely proportional to the temperature. The formula for this is wavelength at maximum intensity equals 2.9 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by temperature. The IB expects you to be able to use these two laws to analyse intensity wavelength graphs of radiation at different temperatures. Let's cover the key points. As temperature increases, the radiation intensity increases in accordance with the Stefan Boltzmann law. As temperature decreases, the wavelength at maximum intensity decreases, in accordance with Vine's displacement law. Let's attempt an example question. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.